Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and today I'm bringing you an easy quick sew luxe stocking. So these stockings I'm going to make really on the cheap. Um, you're going to be able to make them out of really easy things and they're going to be minimal sewing. And I'm also going to show you how you probably, well no, you can do it that way. I just can't show you fully because I broke my stapler. So there is a way where you don't have to sew these as well. But I broke my staple gun and I didn't realise I broke my staple gun until I got back home and I thought, well, I can't go back out to get a staple gun. Grab yourself a little cup of tea. I did just boil the kelp to have a cup of tea, then I realised I'm sweating, so I've actually got Pepsi again in this. Yet again, grab yourself a cup of tea or any drink. <laughs> Pepsi in a mug, look, Bertie's just like attacking the door. Um, he's trying to get the reef. I'm going to quickly show you, just before I start on my reef, these are how the bits turn out. So the, the cake plates, the bobbles on, this is how they turn out. Look at the shine, that's been spray painted and it's still got a lovely shine on it. I'm leaving the white bowl with the silver. I quite like this, I quite like they're a bit different. It's a bit of a mercury silver, it's gonna look nice on the table with all the other bits. And the ginger jar that I got, that was in bright blue china. It's been sprayed and look at the shine on that. That's the one pound um, Panland spray that's in the car section. So. That whole, I only used one can on it, and that thing cost me $2.99. So it's cost me $3.99 for a lovely, beautiful ginger jar, which I'd have spent 30 or 40 pounds in, in a nice Maison shop. Also quickly, I'm just gonna show you, everyone's been sort of saying, what am I doing with my autumnal reef? I do turn it a little bit more autumnal, as it gets to sort of really autumn-y. So I've just added loads of leaves I got for a pound out of the works, and I just glued them on my hot glue gun, because, because it's like a wax leaf, in my eucalyptus reefs that I done, they sort of peel off. So the leaves I still have the bit like the glue on from the glue gun, but it won't leave no traces. And I've got some dried oranges from the pound shop. So that will go on my front door and some like real pumpkins on the doorsteps and stuff. So let's get in with the video. Now what I'm going to be using is a needle and thread and some cotton. You can use a staple gun or a hot glue gun for that. I've also got a pillowcase. Now it's gone a little bit bobbly on one of the sides. And it's an old pillowcase, and I do change up my pillows seasonally. Now, these were the cheap $5.99 ones from B&M. Um, but I took the cushion out, because I will use that for stuffing to make my pumpkins. And we've just got a cushion cover that I'm using. Now, you can use any fabric that you want. I just think if you use a cushion cover, two of the sides of the stocking are already sewn in. So it just makes it a lot more easier, a lot more quicker, if you're lazy like me. Also... And they're five pounds. But I got myself one of these big cushions from B&M, and this was ten pound. And this is also in the heritage section. I wanted mine to be super luxe and super fluffy. Now they have lovely like velour ones in there with like sequins. They've got like you know like the normal fur. It looks like fur rather than like really fluffy fur. And they do them cheaper. I got this one because I think it goes rather well with the cushion that I've already got. And it costs ten pound. Now you're probably going to get about six stockings out of this one cushion so when you on average it's about one pound eight i think so for per cushion so that works out quite cheap so i'm just going to show you how we do it now first off i've took the cushion out of the cushion cover and i'm going to inside out it and what i'm going to do is one side of the the stocking is actually going to be one of these straight edges so one, the back of the side of the stocking will be that straight edge. This will be the bottom of the foot. And I'm just going to mark a boot shape going up. So I'm just going to do that now and then I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to do it with a pen. It hasn't got to be anything exact. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it on the table. I'm sorry, just because I'm terrible at filming, but I'm going to show you what I've done. Don't forget to do it a bit bigger than you want it to be because you're going to have to have the stitch. Okay, so the inside line's not right, the bigger line, the outside line. So I've just drawn like a boot shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some scissors. I can use fabric scissors for this. I'm not going to. And I'm just going to cut along where I've drawn on the pen. Hasn't got to be perfect. You are going to be sewing it in a second. 
Now, rather than sewing this, you can use a staple gun and just staple the edges nice and neatly if you wanted to. And that is what I was going to do. So this is going to take a little bit longer, this video, just because I'm going to have to hand stitch. So once you've cut it, you're going to end up with this kind of shape. Obviously, this is the edge of the cushion. This is the bottom of the cushion. Now, a stocking isn't always exactly straight. To make it look a bit nice and quirky, that's going to be a rounded edge, and so is that. So I'm just going to draw the rounded edge so I know that when I'm stitching, just to stitch on that line, just to bring it in nicely. So I will show you ever so quickly. So I haven't got a stitch this side or this side, but I'm just going to do a little stitch around there, a little stitch around there, and then I've just got a stitch along the edge. But like I said, you could staple this along the whole way, staple them corners, which I was going to do, and then you've got your stock in, but I haven't. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a little knit nap and I'm gonna get my needle and string, just a bit of white cotton to do, a nice big needle. To be honest, you probably could do this with you if it will go through the fabric. Some fabrics it won't go through. But honestly, you can use anything. You could get a cushion cover for about two quid in B&M. They've got like bright champagne silver. They've got crushed velvet. They've got the nicest, nicest colours. So all I would recommend is, even though I'm not going right in on the stitching, all I would recommend is the very first stitch at the top of the stocking, I would recommend just giving it, sorry, a little, a little knot, just so that it doesn't unravel. So just a little knot of cotton right at the top of the stocking. And all I'm gonna do is a really quick running stitch. So I'm just gonna do how we done on our pumpkins around the top of our pumpkins. If you watch my pumpkin tutorial, I'm just gonna go in, out, in, out on the concertina fold, and it's just gonna leave a little stitch. Now, I'd recommend if you are going to, I'm gonna try and do this on, the, on there. If you are going to be filling these with gifts. Now, I'm sort of thinking, I don't really fill my stockings with gifts. I have like some stockings that come out on Christmas Eve, the children hang them on the mantle, and then they get excited when Santa fills them up. But I won't have them up the whole time. One, because I think it finds it looks a bit cluttered. And also, if you have stuff in it, right at the beginning, it takes a little bit of the magic out. And also, not just only that, but they, look, they don't look as nice when they're filled with gifts, I find. And these are quite smaller stockings I'm making. These are more like, for show, these are probably gonna be didn't cut my cotton long enough, so I'm going to have to redo my cotton and start down to that bit. Now, I mean, I'm done I'm done down to there. It's so, so quick. I will give it another go over it, back over it, just because I want it extra strong. But that's going to take all of two minutes. These are so, so simple. So simple. And it's even more simple if you've got... The staple gun to do it with. If you are going to put things in them though, I would recommend sewing. And that is just because I don't know if the staples would take the weight of gifts. But these are just going to look so expensive. You know like when you go to department stores and they have the super expensive looking fur top stockings. They're normally around 20 to 30 pound. You can get more cheaper looking ones in places like B&M and places like that. But they never look as luxury. The fabrics, I find, are never as nice as they are in them sort of shops. And do you know what I like to do with these? I like to do colourful patterns, uh, calf kits and fabric, and make tiny ones of these, and then hang them up as bunting, so you've got stocking bunting. It just looks really cute. And you can even have the stocking bunting 24 or 25 and stick little treats in them as an advent calendar. So I make loads of these tiny little ones, hang them on a long ribbon, hang them on the wall and put a little chocolate in each of them, make little 25 little ones of them and then you've got like a little unique advent calendar as well. I'm going to be doing some alternative advent calendar ideas because I buy my children a chocolate advent calendar but I do do them homemade advent calendars. So I will be doing those as well probably do them next week just because I find everyone's on the hype the advent calendar hype at the moment they're all getting really excited for the advent calendars so I'm just gonna need a tiny little bit more of cotton I'm not cutting it long enough I just some, sometimes find if I leave it on the cotton reel I end up getting it all caught and tangled because I will be the first one to admit 
I'm not the best sewer. I'm not the best person at crafting. I'll have a go. I like to have make things that look expensive, even though they've not cost me a lot of money. I get drips when I spray paint sometimes. I, I'm not the best at sewing. So if I can do it, you definitely can. Sorry, my voice went a bit weird then and low. I thought, you know, like one of them awkward moments, sorry if it's TMI, like too much information, but I drank Pepsi really quick before talking to you. <laughs> and I thought, is that like a hiccup or is that like a little mini burp? Like, so I thought, better be like, oh, talk a bit slower. You don't want to burp on the camera, that'd be absolutely disgusting. Hey, birds, what are you doing, man? Bless him, he's just sitting in his bed with his little chair. So we're coming to the end. Now, I've said that we're gonna sew along that bit on the edge as well. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna sew along the line, back and forth, just like I was doing around the edge. This is so, so quick. I mean, what's the time now? 11 minutes, I've been blabbering on as well and showing you how to draw on it. But once you do it, these are gonna take you about 20 minutes to make a stocking and they ain't gonna cost you hardly anything. You might even have a cushion cover indoors that you can use. And I'm just gonna knot that. Yeah. I'm just gonna knot it. Then I've just gotta sew ever so lightly over that edge just to round the other edge. So I'm gonna get a little bit more cotton. What are you doing, birdie? I've got a little um, wicker bag, like a willow bag hanging on the door and it's got the little spinny all. The Christmas decoration I used to decorate my autumn basket. And I've hung it on the bag and that is what he's actually trying to get. I thought was, he's only been doing it since yesterday and I just assumed it was the, the brief hanging up, but it's not, it's that hanging. So right, let's pull that. And I'm just again gonna do a stitch on that little bit of pen that I just done. Now you can go over this, I would recommend it, just to make it nice and strong. But as quick as it took me to do that, it's gonna take me even quicker to go back. And you can just go in and out, do the little concertina type thing, just not in it, making sure that it stays in. And you've got the weight of the presents in. And I'm just gonna go in, out, across onto the line, making it really simple. The strongest edges will be the edges that they've been hand sewn like um, in the shop, the ones that are already sewn in. But if you have a sewing machine, this will make it even quicker. But you can hand sew this. This is why I'm trying to show you how easy it is because not everyone has a sewing machine. Not everyone knows how to use a sewing machine. It just makes it nice and simple. And these are nice as well because I think if you would like to make someone like a handmade gift, these are like the perfect things and they're just not gonna believe that you've made these. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the inside and I'm just gonna try and pull it in as neatly and as gently as I can because I don't wanna rip the sewed edge because as I say, I need to go over it again. But it won't look too bad. So what we're gonna end up with is now that, oh how cute, I've done it on the edge and you've even got the little tag hanging on it. That weren't on purpose neither, I was gonna do the other side. So what you end up with is like a little stocking. Now to be fair, I was a bit scared of over exaggerating that bit, but you can over exaggerate that a bit more. So then you end up with a nice little stocking. Now this is where this fabric comes into play, the knitting, uh, the, the woolly fabric. I'm gonna have to take the cushion pad out of this, but yet again, don't waste the cushion pad. You can keep this. Oh actually, do you know what the zip's busted, but it's lucky because I don't, there's no point taking it back, I'm cutting it off anyway. But that's a lovely big fluffy cushion that make loads of lovely little pumpkins. And I'm gonna, not inside this out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roughly measure the width for this. I'm gonna need twice the length. So if I need it that long, I'd hold my finger there, put it there. So actually I'm gonna need it that long because it's gonna need to be two widths long. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim and I'm gonna roughly, you'll roughly see how long you're gonna want this. So you can have it as short as you like, the bit of fur at the top. I'm roughly gonna want it, this is a little bit messy, you do end up getting some of the fibers, you do end up losing some of the fibers. I'm trying to put, if when I'm cutting, I'm trying to put my scissors right in deep so that I don't trim this, because then you're gonna see it's been cut. So I'll show you, look, as I'm going in, 
You can hardly see that I'm cutting because I'm not cutting the top fibres. I'm just doing it in nice and deep. So when it cuts, I've still got that long layer at the bottom. It's kind of like this. And all I'm going to do is you can either glue gum this on or you can lightly stitch this. And I'm going to put this over the top. That's probably still a bit long, so I'm going to fold that in a bit. Fold it into the top of the stocking so that it's just going to make it like that. See, I didn't measure too greatly because I've missed a little bit, but that's fine because, to be honest, you're not even going to notice. I can just cut an extra tiny little bit. So that, what I should have done is, is I actually think the length, the whole length of the cushion it will be. I'm going to do another one because we don't want to do extra sewing while you're trying to watch this. So I'm going to just cut the other side. But that's not wasting because, like I said, if you're going to do the bunting as well anyway, it's not going to make no difference. I'm going to be making a few of these, and what I'll do is I'll just cut that extra piece out that I needed and sew it on. These are kind of like faultless, where they're fur, you can't really see many mistakes in them. But don't forget to cut deep so that you've still got that overhang of fur. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it on this one. I'm gonna cut the zip out this bit though because it's got the zip on this section. So I'm just gonna like kind of cut the zip bit out, very roughly. Now what I would do is if you've got a hot glue gun, or fabric glue, or staples, just fold it in, give it a light staple, give it a light bit of glue and stick it down. Because, let's face it, no one's going to see it. It's going to be on the inside of the stocking. And you can, or you can say this. One thing I would suggest doing, just to make this a lot more neater, would be fold this in half and just sew along that edge. So that when you're inside out, you've got a little rough and then you can just tuck it on. So I'm just going to do it this way so that you can see. Let's see, I'm losing a lot of my fibres. So I'm just going to hold that on to the top of the stocking. Now, like I said, you could hot glue that on. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it in ever so slightly and I'm going to stitch it. See, this is the perfect length. I went the whole way round. And look. It's gone all the way round. And I'm just going to little stitch that, if I can find where I put my needle. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, to, to be honest, I make loads of stockings. I've made them last year, like I was saying, in calf kits and fabric. And they're really, really cute. I make them huge, so they're like stocking sacks. Really, really cute. And you could even like make little decorations like this. You could make like little Santa Clauses, and this be Santa's hair, and there's so many options of what you can make. So I'm just gonna fold it over and I'm gonna do it really rough. I'm just gonna, where's my bit of cotton? This is really tricky because you do get the cotton sort of lost within the hair. And I'm just gonna tie it together to make sure that it's knotted. And I'm just gonna tuck that in. I'm just gonna do a few exaggerated stitches and like I said, you can staple this or hot glue this. And just sew it in. So easy, isn't it? Like, I was going to be doing one of my reefs again. And I thought, you know what, I'm not. Because you've already seen me do a reef. I will do a reef for Christmas. But I thought, there isn't much point in me doing another one just yet. I'll start doing some bits that you can start getting hold of, getting hold of some of the craft supplies so that you can start making some. Don't forget to keep folding over that edge though, just so that you're, it's tucked over the top. And what you can do to finish this off is get a nice little bit of ribbon, sew it a little loop so you can hang this up. You'll see how many quick stitches this takes for me to do. And because it's got all that lovely fluff, you don't even see the stitches, it's perfect. Like, look, it's going all the way round. And obviously, if them two were already stitched together, it makes it quicker to do it. But I'm just going to quickly hand stitch them together myself. But if you'd already done it like a pocket and then put it on, it makes it much, much easier. So, that's that bit there. Cut that and I'm on to the last bit. 
and then we're done. And we're 19 minutes in. I know it's quite a long video just for one craft. I normally try and do some other crafts. But I just thought this is a really lovely idea. And you can get anything you want in your own colour scheme. They had these Mongolian furry cushions in mustard yellow. They had them in blush pink. They had them in grey. They've got crushed, uh, crushed velvet ones. They've got so many different fabrics that you can just pick whatever fabrics that you want. And they're going to look beautiful. I've gone for this beige sort of colour because I have a lot of golds and reds. I go quite traditional, but I have a lot of champagnes as well. I like a quite, like a, a country luxe look. So I'm just going to go across now. And now I'm going to be joining the two pieces so that it looks seamless as if they're together. And all I'm going to do is with the same bit of wool, I'm going to join them together, same bit of knitting yarn. I'm going to go down, just making sure I sew along the edge. Just sort of they're joined together. I'm just using in and out. It's just literally in, <laughs> pushing it in. I'm a terrible sewer. It hasn't got to be perfect. It ain't like your kids are actually going to be wearing these. They're not real socks. Once that's done, it's going to look lovely. I'm just going to trim that a little bit. You can knot that as well. I would knot after every bit of loose thread. And what we've got, guys, is a beautiful... And this can be stapled, don't forget. Let's try and get the feathers off it. A beautiful little luck stocking, a little country stocking. It looks really cute. And to make it even more nicer, you can sort of fold that under just to make it look slightly more bulky. So you can, let me just tuck that and tuck that under. To make it look a bit more bulky now I've made this in a tiny form because I wanted to do it in 10 minutes if you sat down and had a nice little cup of tea in the evening it'd be really nice and therapeutic to make and you could make a much longer one something that's going to look really grand like on a grand scale um, and it just looks beautiful and you can just add some berries to this some little diamantes you can stitch the letters of the out like the, their initial of their name on this you could like hot glue gun sequins in the letters of their name you could even write their name on it in like a hot glue gun and then just paint over the hot glue in like a gold or a silver so that looks like an embossed like um is it debossed the one that stands out and they're just super cute and i think they're really lovely and once they're sort of hung up on a little dresser or on a on a little thingy i've tried to cut it so quickly and try to do it so quickly that it isn't a really long thing i hope you get the idea i'm gonna do some proper ones do the same technique exactly the same going to do it. i might even staple down the edge if i'm being lazy but i'm going to do it on a proper grand scale use the same fabrics as what i've used today and then i like upload it to my instagram and i'll also show in my next craft video so you can see what they come out like when i've actually got a bit more than 10 minutes but got to pick the kids up from school they've got a little party tonight and um, it was a surprise party but my daughter was a chatterbox so i didn't tell her and then this morning, her little friend came over and said, it's my birthday, I'm having a surprise birthday. My mum told me, and I was like, oh. And then she said the boys could come. So I was like, oh, that's brilliant. So they're going there. So I've got to get all their stuff ready and prepared to get them changed because it's four o'clock. I pick them up at three. I've got to get them home, give them a snack so they're not like, carn like carnage of the party food. And um, take them there. I hope you enjoyed this little quick craft. It isn't perfect on the perfect scale. I just wanted to show you for idea purposes. It is really cute. Once this is done, a little bit more time, a little bit patience, while I'm watching one of my soaps or watching one of my series, and I'm just sitting there having a little cup of tea in the evening, they'll come out a little bit nicer. But I quite like the look that that's got the little heritage tag there. As you can see, I'm losing loads of fibre, so you need your hoover at the ready. So, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Have a lovely rest of your week. I'm back on Friday with my Matalan try-on haul. And then I'll be back again on Tuesday with alternative advent calendars. I'm getting the hiccup slash burp things again. So I'm going to go. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. And have a fantastic week. And thank you so much for all the comments as well. It's been crazy crazy at my house at the minute i've been doing loads of like organizing getting things done i've had friends coming over doing trips and doing like putting bits together doing crafting i just really haven't had time replying but thank you so much and i'm really not being rude i'm so grateful and it's so kind of you all to take the time to do that so i'm gonna let you go take care i'm rosie henshaw bye